A couple weeks ago, two of my cousins sent me an Instagram Reels. And in that video, someone took the lens from a disposable film camera and mounted it to the body cap of their digital camera. In doing so, they created a really cheap lens for their fancy digital camera, and it kind of mimics the look of a disposable. After seeing that video from my cousins, I was really inspired and I wanted to try it out for myself. So let's get started. This project is actually pretty simple. So here are the steps I took to adapt this disposable film camera lens to my digital camera. I'm using a Kodak Fun Saver for this project, but any disposable film camera would work. So the first thing I did was take it apart. So I took the sticker off and I took apart the two halves of this disposable camera by prying it open with a flathead screwdriver. From there, I took the front cover off the front half of the camera by also prying it off with the flathead screwdriver. And then I took the lens out by unscrewing two tiny screws. Afterwards, I cut off the excess plastic from the side of this lens. And then I drilled a hole into the body cap of my Sony a6400 and glued the lens in place. All right, so this is what the disposable film camera lens looks like when it's adapted to my Sony a6400. The first thing that I noticed is that it is so light. This is pretty much the equivalent of not having a lens on here. And I really enjoy how small and easy it is to carry around. I often find that with a bigger lens and a bigger camera setup, it's just such a hassle to carry with me that I don't end up using it. So it was quite nice to just take this around and shoot for fun. The next thing I want to talk about are the colors coming out from this setup. I wouldn't say that this setup looks like film. To me, it reminds me of Digicams from like 2010. So it kind of just looks like digital photos, but not as sharp as today's cameras. And what makes analog shooting so unique is that each film stock has their own characteristics when it comes to color. So in order to get the colors that would remind me of a certain film stock, I either have to edit the color profile in camera or edit the photos themselves. Overall though, I think this was a pretty fun experiment and I would highly recommend you trying it out because a disposable film camera only costs about 25 Canadian dollars and that makes for a really cheap lens for your digital camera. I had a great time trying this out. I would highly recommend you try it out. So yeah, that's all for me. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Ingat.